Chris Flexen, one and five with a 7.18. For the Orioles, it's Rutschman, Henderson, and Santander. Rutschman behind the plate. Henderson at short. Santander, the DH. Followed by Montcastle at first. O'Hearn in right. Hayes in left. And then it's Mullins in center. Arias at third. And Frazier at second. Kyle Bradish on the hill. Kyle, eight and six on the year with a 3.03 ERA. I grew up always wanting to be involved in sports, and broadcasting has been my entry. To shoulder the responsibility of fairly and accurately covering the sports in our town. To be the one to narrate the games and teams we love so dearly that bring us all together. To sort through the highs and lows, the victories and defeats, and to capture the emotions that pulse through every moment on every field. And more importantly, what those moments really say about us all. A couple steps towards second and makes the catch for out number one. Hi, I'm Scott Garceau, sportscaster. Been doing this for over 50 years. Uh, about 43 of those years in Baltimore, I got here in 1980 and it has been a great run. I guess the, uh, the great thing about my job is I get to deliver something that a lot of people like myself are passionate about and that's the games and the teams that they love play and whether it's the Ravens, the Orioles, people do have a passion on sports. One of the things that attracted me to Baltimore was growing up a Packer fan back in northern Michigan. I knew all about the Colts and the Packer rivalry. I knew all about the Orioles So when the Baltimore opportunity came up I was excited about it and then to find out that Channel 2 at that time was the place where the Orioles were broadcast, the Colts were broadcast. Uh, that gave me an opportunity maybe to get involved in play-by-play -play with those two teams, which I did. Let's see, uh, Johnny U came from Pittsburgh, Brooks, Little Rock, Wes, Louisville, Vince from Govins, Chuck from Reading, Artie from the Bronx, Scott Garceau from the UP of Michigan. They came to Baltimore and never left. The one thing I admire about Scott is that he is steady. On this news desk, calling the Orioles, Super Bowl with the Ravens, so to put his name up with the man we called steady, John Stedman, that's the greatest compliment. You know, somebody who started uh, 19 years old doing high school basketball and football games to suddenly be in the booth for your hometown team calling a Super Bowl, pretty incredible. Jermaine Lewis goes all the way. Oh my God, 84 yards time. The switch to talk radio was interesting because I, uh, one of the things I got real quick was you really connect with people. Jeremy and I always felt like uh, we were part of the show, but all the people listening, they, they were part of the show, right? We had all kinds of callers and personalities, and we let them talk. I mean, simply put, I loved it. Um, you know, one of the easiest guys to work with, and um, it kind of changed my life. It gave me a different perspective on just how to be in radio, how to be a person, and, and to be honest, like, we never got too serious and one of the cool things about Scott is that he knows so much about Baltimore sports and sports in general that no matter what happened we could go down that pass I, I may look older than him now but he was more like a fatherly figure to me I still call him and ask for advice so just one of the best people I know we gotta go Jeremy hey Mo we gotta go to Mo's hey guys what's, what's up Mo? Mo Mo was the you know probably the most famous story of all Mo Gabba this young kid that called in he made a smile he knew sports he cheered for the home teams. Mo had the best of all of us. And I know you'll hear people talk about just how much he loved the hometown teams and how positive he was and how funny he was. And when you think about all the things that Mo has accomplished uh, just at 14 years of age before he passed, we got two talking bobbleheads made of him. He's got two sports Emmys. He beat Kobe Bryant posthumously. We've got a street named after him downtown right around the corner from here. Uh, the MO in the end zone for the Ravens is painted a different color in the Baltimore. It's one of the coolest things and it's still the greatest thing I've ever done in radio is just have him be a part of our show and have him be a part of our lives. Well, Mo's story touched so many hearts and I, I told his mom he passed so young I said he touched more people in his early years than a 90-year-old could have. And, and Mo will always be in our hearts. Jeremy, what he did with Mo, and later the show that Mo did with Jeremy shortly before he passed, incredible. But it all starts with, with meeting someone like Scott and, and seeing the way that they work and how they treat people. And, and I think it's one of the things that made him special. And I think that's kind of why you know, the relationship with Mo, how that thing grew. And he'll probably listen to something like this and go, oh, okay, I've heard, you know, but that's really who he is. He's just a really good guy. To be with, I mean, the legends of the state of Maryland is pretty special for me. 
I've had a chance to cover a lot of these people and to be in their company, that means a lot to me. At Camden Yards, a big crowd, close to capacity here tonight. I'm sportscaster Scott Garceau, and I am a proud member of the Maryland State Athletic Hall of Fame.